cheap, easy, not cheesy. Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another $1 DIY video. This time we're doing outdoor patio DIYs. I heard you loud and clear. That's what you want to see. So that's exactly what you're getting in this video. Totally stoked to share this and all that said, we're getting started right now. This first idea is so simple and it's great because it's gonna go with multiple styles, modern, farmhouse, coastal, <laughs> whatever style tickles your fancy, you can customize it to that. All you have to do is snatch up two medium to large size bins from Dollar Tree and duct tape them together. I don't know about you. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what you're gonna say and you're with me on this one. I'm sick of Dollar Tree taking down the amount of rope that they're selling for a dollar. It's no longer a good deal, but we're in luck because they also sell black poly rope 50 feet for $1 and this is a great deal. Also, these are two Amazon rope stores I have purchased from before. This price per foot is better than Dollar Tree ever was. And I'm going to have those linked in the description. Side note, the first store I'm linking, their prices change sometimes by the hour, day by day, but they're not always going up. They're going up, they're going down. So it's not like Dollar Tree. They're not just continuously rising the price. So forgive me if it's not the exact same. Try the second link instead. Anyways, all you have to do is alternate jute rope, black rope, and the black rope is really stretching our dollar here. I only used one pack of black poly rope, but the cool thing about this DIY is totally customizable. You could do the whole thing in black, or you could do it in black poly rope and finish it up in yarn. Really, this works in so many situations. You can use it for your lemonade next to your lounge chair, or like I'm using it for a plant stand. Love how this turned out. These hanging plant baskets are summer staples at Dollar Tree. And while you're in the tool section picking up some black poly rope, go ahead and snatch up some of their white poly rope. You get 25 feet for $1. Not as good as 50 feet, but the white poly rope is thicker. I also originally spray painted my plant hanger white, but after finishing this DIY, I see it's not necessary. So if you don't have white spray paint on hand, don't run out to get it. You really don't need it to get the same look. Then all you have to do is weave your poly rope in and out of the plant basket till you get to the top, stop, and then weave it around the top. So as you can see, you don't need to go out and buy white spray paint for this. The only part that you can see that's wire is the very bottom, and I don't think that matters very much. Then you can just attach the garden chains again, or like I'm doing, I had pulled apart a previous DIY and I'm using that rope to hang my planter. Did you know that Dollar Tree sells $1 plant liners? <laughs> I did it until this year. I'd never seen them before. That's really a good deal. And that's what I used. I put my elephant bush in the hanging planter. So depending on what you have on hand, this will cost you four to six dollars to make, which is really a great deal considering even the beyond basic plant hangers at Lowe's are like 10 to 15 dollars. Walmart and Dollar Tree both sell plastic waste baskets for a dollar or 98 cents. It doesn't matter if you go to Dollar Tree or Walmart to snatch up a waste basket. I'm using a waste basket or I'm reusing a waste basket that I had used last year for a DIY planter. I think this is going to be great because you're going to see how well this technique works. And by the way, the rope that I used on the last DIY is the rope from this planter. So a lot of people ask like, hey, Megan, what do you do with all the DIYs when you're finished? Well, I sell them, give them away, use them, or I tear them apart and reuse them. Then you just have to pick up a big catering bowl. Dollar Tree sells these as well and poke some holes, drainage holes. So this we're making another planter here, y'all. No rope is gonna be involved this planter. So if you're not like a rope fan, this DIY is for you. Then just hot glue your bowl to your wastebasket. Dollar Tree also sells caulk in their tool section. They sell the squeeze tube and they also sell the kind that you can put in a caulk gun. It doesn't matter, same type, 
put it all over your bowl and your wastebasket. And like I said, we're making a planter. So from here on out, I'm going to call it a planter. Then you're going to snatch up some Dollar Tree sand. You only need one bag and you will have a lot left over. And sprinkle that all over your planter while the caulking is still wet. You can also go back with a brush to push it around and move it around all over the planter to give it more of a textured look. And don't forget to poke out your drainage holes. And heads up, I did go ahead and make two big drainage holes right in the middle. Then you can just paint your planter whatever color you want. Now I'm a spray painting gal. It is my favorite way to paint, but you can use whatever paint you want. I originally used a matte black and I, I didn't hate it, but it just really didn't show off the texture that the planter had. So after it was black, I went back with a very thin coat of the copper hammered metal by Rust-Oleum. And this is the look I got. So just if you want the same look, you will have to go black and then do a light coat. And that's why I brought that up that I spray painted black first and then went back with copper. I made a smaller one by using a 50 cent cup and a 50 cent bowl from Walmart. The only difference with this little planter is I used my drill to make a hole in the cup and the bowl for drainage. Everything else is the same. Caulking, sand, spray paint black, spray paint gold. And this is how these two planters turned out. I really love how these turned out. I know I'm always bragging about myself saying, oh, I love every DIY, but I'm really impressed with how these turned out, especially this planter, the larger planter, because that waste basket was really busted. I didn't clean off the old hot glue or even some of the rope, like fuzz pieces that left behind. I love the way they look outside. I actually made both of these about, it was the last week of March. And I've had them outside. It's stormed. They are holding up great. So definitely try these out. And if the gold copper is not your style, I also did a similar technique on this planter in this video linked in the description below. Check that out if you're interested in a different type of look. We all know that Dollar Tree sells $1 bowls. Walmart sells their bowls for 94 cents. So it's only six cents, but depending on if you're already there, how far away Walmart is from your house, I think Walmart's a better deal. Just snatch up two bowls that are matching in style or size. They don't have to be the same color. Use some gel super glue available at Dollar Tree and connect your two bowls butt to butt. <laughs> I did this for two style of bowls. So for the white style of bowls, because when I connected them, it just looked like I glued two bowls together. Even though we are just gluing two bowls together, I don't want it to look like we're just gluing two bowls together. I used a little bit more of Dollar Tree's caulk and just pushed it in the cracks, wiped it away with a damp cloth and bada bing, bada boom. You can't even tell it was two bowls glued together. Then you can just paint it whatever color your heart desires. My heart always desires whatever spray paint <laughs> I have on hand. So I'm using heirloom white. I always have this one on hand. It's one of my favorite spray paint colors. And then Dollar Tree does sell candle making kits for only a dollar. Or you can go to any craft store and get like a pack of eight candle wicks for a dollar twenty to a dollar fifty, and that's I've, I've had these on hand. That's what I did. So just hot glue your wick to the middle of your bowl, and then round up all of your almost burnt all the way down handles, <laughs> and put those in water on your stove, medium heat for about thirty-five to forty-five minutes. Then, y'all, I read online that the smell of eucalyptus, lemon, or lavender is a natural mosquito repellent. Eucalyptus and lemon are one of like five cents I keep on hand for my diffuser. I love the smell of them. So I, I'm trying it out. I'm not 100% sure I'm buying what that blog was selling. <laughs> but hey, I'll hit you back up the end of summer and let you know if these really work. But if not, I want to just go ahead and say that I do love this DIY. These candles look very modern indoors or outdoors, and they smell amazing. They're also great for people like me. If you just have a hard time partying with those candles that you spent, you know, your hard earned money on and you don't want to throw away that last inch of wax. And we are on to the next one. Now, Dollar Tree since Christmas has been selling the value pack of tumbling tower games. I've seen these in stores as recent as the 
last week of April-ish, but they also have them online as of the last week of April 2021. If you can't find the value pack, that's fine. You can still use their regular size. You'll just need to double the amount you purchase. Then I mentioned in a previous video, you can go to Facebook Market, go to their marketplace, search free wood, and this is gonna pop up all free listings in your area. This is how I get a lot of my free items, especially free scrap wood, but I also join groups called sell nothing, buy nothing, where it's just a group of people giving away their free stuff, kind of like one man's trash is another man's treasure. So check all that stuff out on Facebook. That's really the only reason I'm still on Facebook. Then just take some wood glue, which can be picked up sometimes at Dollar Tree, although I never see it at my local Dollar Tree or Walmart or Dollar General for less than $3 and just put your blocks all over that wood. Now, these blocks do not match up perfectly, and that's okay. So you see these big dents. To fix that, all you have to do is just take a little bit more wood glue, squirt it into the cracks, a damp towel, rub it into the cracks, and then just take some sandpaper and then sand that down. The dust from sanding will fill in the cracks, and it just gives it a more nice professional store-bought look. Now, I'm whipping out my miter saw, and I don't want to lose you because check it out, y'all. This, I got mine for $5 at a yard sale, but you can get one brand new at Walmart for like $30. And I promise you, these are not hard to use. This is going to take up your DIY crafting game. I would say it's a better investment than a Cricut, but that's just me. That's my opinion. So you can also do this with a handsaw. I hope I didn't lose you there. And then these table legs or bench legs I had originally purchased for my coffee table I went ahead and um, just bought a new coffee table because there's a local guy. He lost his job during COVID. I love supporting local and he custom made this for me. I'm giving him a huge shout out if you are in the Texas area. And I think he does ship like to the lower 48 states now. I'm going to have his shop linked in the description. I get no money gain from that. I just love supporting local and people that are living their dream like him. Like I said, he did have a job. He quit. And now he is just woodworking and selling out of his house. <laughs> All that said, I love this bench. Can I brag on myself for a second now? I love the way this turned out. I didn't stain it. I will seal it. But I just think this looks so cool. And for when I bought the table legs, they weren't $18 like it showed in the picture of the little pop-up. They were only $15. So for like $20, this looks amazing. I only used four boxes of blocks and I actually had like five little blocks left over. Love the way all these DIYs turned out. I love you for watching and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time, my friend.